Dry and sunny today, but the water levels are still high after all the rain this month. Meteorologist Ryan Breton takes a closer look at flooding on the Connecticut River. Area rivers and streams being high or even in flood is not something that's been rare recently. We saw it a lot last summer into the fall and even through parts of this winter as well. But the Connecticut River has been on the rise lately, and that's because of all the precipitation we've seen. Since the beginning of the year, we've had more than 15 inches of precipitation. That's rain and melted snow in the Hartford area. Uh, that's more than seven inches above average. You look at just since the beginning of this month, we are running way ahead of average with more than three inches of liquid, uh, more than we typically see on average at this point in the month of March in the Hartford area. As that rain has come to an end, all the water flowing through the tributaries and river systems, and eventually a lot of it empties out into the Connecticut River, and that's why these last several days it has been running so high. Let's take a look at the tide chart for the river in the Hartford area, and you'll see that over the last couple of days, it's been in this orange zone, which represents minor flooding. The river was actually starting to go down on Saturday, but then when we had the rain Saturday night into Sunday, it started to go back up. Now that we have a little bit more of a dry stretch of weather moving in, we are expecting it to drop below flood stage. It looks like that will be happening early tomorrow morning. And while there is some more rain in the late week forecast, it does not look like it would be enough to push it back up into flood. That said, with everything so saturated, we'll have to watch for spring storms as we get into Mar April and May, which could cause more flooding on our area rivers. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.